Hi, uh, this is Denise. Welcome back uh, to um, learning um, or allowing me to teach you my ways of doing paracord uh, bracelets. And again, um, if you watch uh, lesson number one, uh, you will he you would have heard me talk about uh, pretty much just teaching you the the basic uh, stitches like the cobra. Um, today I'm going to be doing um, the ladder, what I call the ladder stitch, um, but it's also known as uh, like thin thin lines, like uh, for police or. Tow, tow truck operators or, or uh, paramedics, you know, um, it's actually I did this one um, earlier to kind of show you, there we go, um, as you can see it kind of looks like a ladder, but uh, you've got just the thin green line going down the middle there, so um, yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna make tonight. Actually, I'm going to uh, the colors I'm going to use are gonna be um, black will be the main color, and then yellow uh, for the bracelet itself. And uh, actually, I have to make sure I do good on this because this is for a very special friend of mine uh, to replace one. Uh, so here goes. Um, Okay, so basically for the ladder stitch, you just want to start out uh, just like we did in lesson one um, with the cobra. You know, you need to um, get the desired length you need and paracord, um, and you need to double that. So, so this uh, actually, I believe I did it at nine inches since it, it is for a friend. It's not for my seven inch wrist, but. Um, But anyway, we'll go ahead and get this started. Let's singe this uh, right in the middle. There we go. Just kind of bond that together. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, and... Um, you get your clasp, make a loop at the top. If you notice, and I didn't point this out in the first video, if you notice, um, uh, I, well, I like to use a 3 8 inch clasp, but I like to have them bowed, uh, so that way I can uh, keep in context with, you know, behind the bracelet or above, which is above. So, uh, just a little personal tip for myself. But anyway, you go ahead and put that top loop in the top of the clasp. Sometimes you got to give it a little extra oomph there. Pull it out just a little bit. Take and flatten out the rest of the cord. You want to take and stick this in through this loop that you made here thus creating your first your first secure knot here and again um, I as discussed in lesson one I like to um, make that first initial loop uh, with the singe spot near it so that way if you can get it just right this when you uh, secure your first knot here this bar will hide that singe which really really helps I think it personally looks kind of tacky when you got a bunch of singe marks showing but you know that's kind of how you have to make this bracelet anyway take out the remainder of your end and you want to stick it in the top of the other side of your clasp and you want to pull it out just a little bit unclip it lay it to where it's like kind of sort of flat out you want to take your completed end and stick it in through the new loop and pull and you now have the other end of your bracelet secure 
Okay, now we'll go ahead and get started. Since, since we are doing um, a ladder stitch, you're going to be inter interweaving in between these two. So what I kind of like to do is take and, and pull one or the other, uh, preferably the one without the cinch mark. Pull it kind of in the middle, if you can, because it'll help. It won't stay, but you know it helps. It it just for me, it's it's a little bit more of a sec secure way to do it. So, okay. I decided to uh, cut eight feet of the outer the outer um, paracord or the design rather. So. Just keep that in mind that I did uh, 9 inches on the bracelet itself and for the design I chose 8 inches. You're going to start with one end, bring it all the way through to the, until you're at the middle. Pull it up. I guess it really doesn't matter, but um, I'm going to start with the right, the right hand side. I'm going to cross over the two yellow strands coming down. Take my other black string, come down over the top of the first black string, underneath the two yellow strands, and then up through that initial loop that I made here. Pull that all the way through and tighten it. And there's your first stitch. Again, you're going to want to keep one of these strings on the top as best you can and you'll see why as, as we go on with the design. Again, if the knot is on, whatever side the knot is on, that's the side of the paracord you're going to want to lead with next. So, knot happens to be over here, so this time I'm going to take the, the cord and go in between, pull that all the way through, take your other black cord, come down over the top of the first black cord you laid underneath the remaining yellow and up through this knot that was created over here. Pull that through and tighten. This time we're going to go over the top. First black cord over the yellow, the remaining black over the first black you laid underneath the two yellows and up through this initial loop you created. This time I'm going to go underneath. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, I lost the battery on my camera. So um, I'm going to make uh, another, I forgot what I was saying, so lucky for you. However, I'm going to make another set um, in uh, just in slow mo and uh, to show you one last time, and then I'm going to go ahead and shoot for the end. So, okay, uh, this is the side where I left off with the knot. Uh, this side is going to go through or in between the two yellow. The other black will come over the top of the first black underneath the last yellow and up through the loop you created over here. Pull that tight and then this one will go over the top. The last one went through, this one will go over the top. Yeah, like so. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I did okay. That I messed up there. Okay, you guys kind of 
kind of watch if you want. Been trying to come up with uh, some interesting, uh, interesting stitches to show you. I haven't decided on next week yet. Sometimes I, I hate planning things like that because it puts a lot of pressure on you. So I had a very interesting day at work today and I found out that squirrels do attack. And they will bite you and scratch you and they will get mad at you and scream at you if you do not feed them. I actually thought it was quite comical that we have a warning out for squirrels. Danger, Will Robinson. This one takes just a little bit longer to complete. Oops, see, see how long. And a lot of times it's easier for me as I get towards the end uh, to un unhook it and, and work with it like that. It's, um, it's just a little bit better. Might work for you too. Now on this particular one, as you get uh, closer to the end, it gets a, it it gets a little bit difficult to get that last string, uh, those last couple of strings through, because uh, you're running out of room, you know. And uh, you know, I you don't need to go out and buy a bunch of fancy tools. Uh, you know, they would be nice, but you know, they're not necessary. You can take like scissors or something, or like I'm giving it room here as best I can. This will be the last the last one because I just can't get another one through. Okay, now that I'm at the end, um, I'm, I'm just going to take and, and tie this off. Well, I think I'll do one more over the top. And that'll help secure it. There and that looks a lot better. Yeah. Alright, take the scissors. Just got it nice and tight. I like to cut it at an angle so that way as it burns it'll, it'll kind of form itself as you singe it, it'll kind of form itself um, to the curves of the bracelet. system is not doing very good. If I have to do this video again, I'm not going to be a happy camper. So, and 
sitting down. Can't see through a camera sitting down. Let's see. It's my lovely assistant, Krista. Okay. And there you go. That is what I call a ladder or also known as, um, well, this particular one would be a, a thin, thin yellow line. So I'm sure that will make my friend a happy camper. <laughs>